In the video you're about to watch, we're going to master polynomial division when we've got a divisor that's nonlinear. So in this case here, the divisor is not linear, it's a quadratic. So the process is very much the same. So it's just some of the little bits of algebra require a little more thought perhaps than with linear. The general process is the same. So we write it up as such and we note that this divisor is actually x squared minus or plus 0x minus 1. So the, the so-called b coefficient is not there or it's 0 to be precise. So that is actually what you would have in mind as you're doing this process. You could even write that in. It's up to you. You could write that in here. So we've got to multiply to get the x squared to match 3x cubed. We've got to multiply by x and 3. So we've got 3x cubed because we multiplied by 3x. I guess the plus sign's not really needed there. And the negative 1 times 3x, now that's 0 there, 0x squared, because we multiplied that dummy term by 3x, and we still get 0. So 0x squared is there as a placeholder essentially, and negative 1 times 3x is minus 3x. And we subtract through, we've got 0, eliminates the cubic terms, negative 2 takes 0 is negative 2x squared. Negative, uh, sorry, 3x minus negative 3x is 3x plus positive 3x is 6x. Now we're going to bring down, before we bring down, sorry, we're not going to jump the gun there, we're not going to bring anything down just yet. Um, we are going to repeat the process. So we need x squared to match negative 2x squared, and that means we need to multiply it by negative 2. And negative 1 times negative 2 is plus 2. Remember there was a dummy term there. So when we went 0x times negative 2, we still get 0x. Now we need to bring this term down. Now that's slightly different, isn't it, to uh, what we saw previously. That some, there's some subtle differences, but the general process is the same. So the x squareds are eliminated. 6x takes 0x is just 6x. Negative 4 take 2 is negative 6. So looking there, we've got, the, got a, a remainder. Now why is that a remainder? It is a remainder because it's too small for the divisor. Okay, So it can only be written in a fractional form, which is how we write out the remainders. So that's basically our answer. So we've got essentially 3x squared take 2, sorry, 3x cubed take 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 over the divisor yields the quotient 3x take 2 plus 6x minus 6 over x squared minus 1. 